Drop the gun! Show me your hand! Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. Now let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago reported 12 homicides this week and has gone three weeks in a row in the double digits. Philly also reported 12 and is doing their best to keep up with Chicago. Philly has also had three weeks in the double digits. New York recorded six homicides, and it has to be noted that New York is the largest city in America by far. And as bad as their homicide numbers are, they're actually really low considering their population. Houston reported eight homicides. Baltimore is showing only two, their lowest weekly total in over three months. New Orleans reported 10 homicides, their first week in the double digits this year. D.C. reported five murders. This is about normal for them, and they'll probably hit that 100 mark next week. Now for some overall yearly totals. Dallas is still showing 81. The city's website hasn't updated in over a month, so I have no idea what number that's on, and I will be pulling them off here if their site doesn't update next week. Kansas City, Missouri is showing 74. That's 14 higher than they showed last week, so th this site is finally updating. Uh, Columbus, 67. Vegas, 65. Milwaukee, 62. They showed four this week. Birmingham, 59. They also showed four. Jackson, Mississippi, 40. Portland, Oregon, 36. Minneapolis, 26. This city's website, it, it just can't be trusted. I, I heard of homicides in Minneapolis this week, and their number didn't go up. So... This is kind of a normal thing that I, I noticed this last year, and it's still continuing this year. I switched sites. I'm, like, looking at the official Minneapolis City website, and the numbers, they just don't go up, even though homicides are being reported. So, I don't know. Unless people are coming back from the dead, the 26 isn't the accurate number. The, it, the 26 is, like, 12 lower than they had last year at this time, and I think they're just trying to make the city look safer than it actually is. San Francisco is showing 20, and Rochester, New York is showing 18, and they had eight or they had two last week. There were 27 reported mass shootings, largely due to the 22 that occurred over Memorial Day weekend. I haven't been covering these as much as I normally would because I'm kind of torn on whether to cover as many as possible and risk my channel getting like knocked for it, or avoid them altogether and stay in somewhat good graces with this platform. But we've had 268 this year, and we hit the 250 mark on May 27th. In 2021, when we had a record-breaking 690, we didn't hit the 250 mark until June 6th. So we're still running a week ahead of that pace. The over-under is still at 700 for the year, and I'm still taking the over. And it must also be noted that Chicago is only reporting eight this year. So the rest of the country is picking up where they've left off. Still not showing pics of the school age and under kids that were killed by gunfire, but in all this year, over 750 have been fatally shot. There were 25 reported defensive use of a firearm incidents. Unlike the mass shootings, these don't seem to negatively impact my channel too much, so I've been covering most of them. Still wishing that weekly total was about twice that. Well, that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week with the week 23 numbers. Until then, have a great week, and I'll catch you next week.